Hello guys and welcome! We are going to get stuck into some scrim matches tonight. So we got the PUBG Southeast Asia Scrim City matches and uh, really looking forward to it. First one of this week as well. So all these guys have been uh, really gearing up to get some really good practice in here. And uh, now we are just loading into this very first game. Uh, so like how we have on tradition for Thursdays for Scrim City, we will be playing two rounds of Erangel, then two rounds of Miramar. And uh, the very first round will always be TPP followed by FPP mode so uh guys while we're waiting for the games to get started let's introduce the teams here that we have for you tonight so team number one will be rrq from indonesia team two will be dpt from philippines team three will be resurgence from singapore um team four will be snow templar from philippines uh team five will be stadium fighter team six will be Arrowwolf uh vince pro from indonesia team seven will be geek fam from malaysia Team 8 will be Airwolf Summit. Team 9 will be Vengeance from Malaysia. Team 10 will be Ronin from Philippines. Team 11 will be Roar Gaming from Indonesia. Team 12 will be Regium from Philippines. Team 13 will be Mista from Philippines. Team 14 will be Z God from Philippines. Team 15 will be Wipeout from Philippines. Team 17 will be Gang FTY from Malaysia. Uh, team 18 will be Dogs from Philippines. Um, Oh, sorry, I think I missed. Team 16 will be Lapar Genesis from Malaysia. And uh, Team 18 will be Dogs from Philippines. Team 19 will be L Dogs from Philippines. And Team 20 will be Team Capcorn from Indonesia. So, pretty cracking set of uh, teams that we got here for you in store this evening, ladies and gents. So, let's uh, get ready for the start of this round for now. Okay, round number one is just about to get started, guys. Let's get in on the action. Alright, so looking at how things are, the, the plane here is going to be going all the way from Primorsk, all the way to Lupovka as well. So, semi-neutral plane here. Give teams uh, quite a variety of options. Now, of course, um, uh, I think partly is just going to be Georgia Pole, which is going to be a little bit far away for some of the teams to go for, unless that they actually manage to secure a vehicle in the Gatka region and uh, use that to its fullest effect. But we already have a number of teams already dropping out of the plane here. So looking at this, we see Primorsk is going to be occupied by Wipeout from Philippines. And uh, looks like Resurgence here going to be going up on this western edge and they actually do have a uh, z god player here uh and they're spread out over here as well um looks like stadium fighter from malaysia here is also going to be going into the gatka region whereas now in pochinki we see that there is actually three three different teams here lapar is going a bit further than uh than this location at the moment and no one going for a military base so it uh, looks like we're gonna get mista actually going towards the southern island here i don't know whether they picked up on the fact that there was actually not really anyone who is dropping into that region but looking elsewhere we see in school is going to be rrq over here but things are already pretty crowded here in uh in Pachinki at the moment, as we already see L Dogs here, uh, squad number 19, as well as Airwolf Vince Pro, gonna be occupying this spot. And they do actually have Vengeance also in the north northwestern side of Pachinki, so it could be a very tight one here as these guys try and maneuver themselves around. But Rizzer Fury is gonna be the only player here for uh, his team for the time being, and that could be a little bit interesting to see whether or not that that's gonna play a factor here in this game. But we will be looking to see how the rest of this round will be developing here as uh, we try and uh, monitor things a little bit. But looking at this circle, guys, it's going to be very much uh, or on this uh, northeastern side here. Not all the way up north here, so it's not as uh, as harsh for some of these teams. But it is still going to be something interesting to see how uh, it is going to move around. And we already see Resurgence having claimed three vehicles are already on the move here as they make their way over to... Uh, yeah, as they make their way over towards the South George to try and get a, a loot-free, uh, or rather a stress-free looting spree for the time being. But yeah, no one going for the military island. But anyways, it looks as though that is going to prove to be uh, 
a bad call or not not the best of calls actually but uh, actually going to South George does make a lot of sense here uh, but uh, we already see Z God here already having the same idea they're currently just trying to pick each other up here and uh, try and get a little bit over there but Ooh, looks as though that uh, one of the players from uh, DPT have expired here. I'm not sure if he disconnected or he was AFK, but either way, he is finished. And uh, the rest of DPT squad number two is over here. Pizza After Sex and Miko going to currently be in this spot here. Currently, they're going to be sharing it with Regium here, squad number 12. And uh, looking at how things are going here, we also see that uh, Team Capcorn... Team number 20 is currently in the southern region here, as is uh, going to be uh, Ronin in the northern side. But looks like things are heating up here. Vengeance going really at it with uh, L Dogs at the moment. And looks like there are going to be losses on both sides here. But Riser Fury going to be the latest to, to pass away here. But it looks as though that uh, three of the players here for Vengeance still very much alive. And uh, I think there's only going to be Chan Chan, uh, who's actually still left for his team here. And he's just going to have to try and make do with the current situation. Whereas uh, we still have four players up for Airwolf Vince Pro at the moment. So not going to be too bad for them as uh, these two teams already did a lot of the work for them. And not really going to worry too much about how things uh, will be moving forward in this game. But now elsewhere, we will be seeing that... Uh, um, these teams are going to have to start thinking about rotations. I think uh, it's mostly going to be uh, late in a sense for this particular round, just because everyone else here is already inside the zone. But a lot of teams here are not quite in the central parts here. So we could be seeing a lot of teams trying to secure a lot of these spots in the center of the circle. Of course, they do want to try and get ahead of the second zone. Who wouldn't? And uh, any team will try and take advantage of that. It's just going to be Resurgence and uh, Z-God over here who have to actually start thinking about making their moves as well uh, in the near future. Now, looking at uh, other, other developments here, we will be seeing that... Uh, there is going to be uh, quite a number of teams in motion here. We are, we already see that Gang FTY is already somewhat in the center here. And uh, currently, Allens is currently patrolling around in this zone. Uh, Dankirk also uh, taking up that compound here. Looks like uh, there is going to be uh, Snow Templar as well, squad number four in this region here, as they start scouting out a little bit and start looking for those compounds to start claiming. So Allen is going to spot out Kaio here and put up some long-range fire and really just try and fend him off a little bit. Oh, but looks like Geek Fam in a bit of trouble here after Exagon is going to nail Savior here after they were looting in this compound near the mansion side. And uh, looks like uh, that's going to be a nice first kill for Airwolf Summit here, squad number eight. And uh, currently Arthur Cosby here just going to back him up just in case there is a little bit more presence for Geek Fam. But Geek Fam at the moment, a uh, bit more spread out at the moment here as uh, they are currently in the mansion and prison regions here at the moment. Uh, there is, uh, you know, Jangs has the whole of prison to himself basically. So that's a pretty nice uh, turn of events here for the time being. But now looking at things, we do see that uh, here in Pachinki, there is going to be three teams still here as the uh, Airwolf Vince Pro trying to take up the line share of the loot here after uh, not having too much presence from the other teams. Vengeance already having to, to back out somewhat and it looks like as though L Dogs at the moment just still going to have Chan Chan here uh, still alive to try and carry the torch for his team after the rest of them passed away uh, trying to duke it out with Vengeance here. And uh, now looking at things, uh, we will be seeing uh, some of these other teams uh, making their own movements in. We already see that a Stadium Fighter is making their way as well inside... Uh, uh, or trying to rotate through the northern side here. I think they're not keen on actually moving in. But now it looks like uh, Vandal here going to steal a car in, uh, in true support of his namesake right now. And uh, currently just taking a lot of fire from 6-6 uh, Six -Six as well as Mox on the high ground. But he's going to be able to get away with that. And uh, Pochinki still technically inside the zone, but likely they are going to start uh, maneuvering themselves just a little bit here to try and get further inside the zone. But looking at uh, how things are in Yasnaya, things are a little crowded here. Uh, we see that uh, Pizza After Sexy are going to try and put some shots. And ooh, a little bit of tragedy for Aurora Gaming there as uh, they fall off the bike there. So a bit unfortunate and a couple knocks that they didn't want to happen in the early game here. But it looks like DPT here just going to put pressure at long range onto Regium. Now Regium uh, kind of backing off towards the south here after they are going to start trying to look for a, a good spot as well. But now it looks like uh, dogs here under fire from Mahdi at the moment as they try to rotate through the zone in search of a good compound. 
but looks like Mad Dog will be running the gauntlet himself as well. And currently, he is going to see whether or not he can uh, navigate his way carefully through this zone. So now he's going to attract a lot of fire from Madi for the time being. And looks like he will be okay for now. So he's going to move on upwards and onwards. Just evading as much fire as he can. Um, but yeah, looking at uh, the rest of the teams here, they are all making their moves in. We already see that uh, Z God has moved away from South George for the time being and is now moving into the zone. So now we will be looking to see whether the other teams are going to start making their move. Uh, Dogs here actually after running past Geekfam, uh, setting up quite a central position here. Now, Dogs is one of the very strong teams that we usually see here on Scrim City here, uh, taking numerous chicken dinners, and looks like they're going to hold up in the Alamo at the moment, which does give a lot of vision. Now, just a, as a reminder, guys, we are playing TPP mode for this round number one, so it is going to be quite essential to have a compound with this kind of uh, walls here, uh, just to offer that little bit of flexibility and vision for whoever is going to be there. And uh, given that it is very central inside the, this uh, circle here, it's going to be very advantageous. But a lot of teams have actually moved out of Yasnaya, and the, the last team here is Ronin, who have not actually moved out for the time being. Uh, but in the south uh, western corner here, we do have Team Capcorn, as they withdrew from uh, their position here. And it looks as though that they have their sights set on Arrowwolf at the moment, as uh, currently... Airwolf Summit is currently just trying to hold out a little bit there. Katao just going to hang around there for the time being. But now looking at how others, uh, other things are going to be developing here, we will be seeing that uh, the, actually the rest of the Airwolf Summit is still very spread out at the moment. Um, they haven't really decided on a spot here. But it looks as though they're just trying to exert a lot of map control at the moment. They're going to go into these compounds 1-1-1-1 one, 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 and uh, really just try and push these other teams away and force them to take unideal positions at the moment. And it looks like Jowie Q here going to finish off real level uh, level 1 as uh, he goes down for Team Capcorn. So a, an early loss there that they wouldn't have wanted. Looks like Resurgence is finally on the move here. But looking at this uh, Western Yasnaya Bridge, it looks like there might be a, a soft bridge camp here as uh, currently there is Migo and Pizza After Sex currently hold up onto this side of the bridge. Now there's only two of them here and not going to really stop a full team from moving across but currently there's only going to be um, the rest of uh, Stadium Fighter. But oh, Madi able to get some hits onto uh, Gang FTY here as currently uh, Danker goes down and uh, oh it looks as though that uh, Manparang is down uh, as well. M0 also taking some fire here but they are caught in a crossfire at that uh, factory there and it looks like Unexpected going to claim that kill onto M0 so Geekfam and uh, Dogs here combining to rain down hell onto Gang FTY in this very first game number one. Looks like Gang uh, does still have uh, Allens and Dankirk still alive in this compound, but currently the, it is uh, it is not a lot of real estate here. And Madi and the rest of Geekfam are in motion for the time being, but Madi is moving on in for, to this position all on his own at the moment, and uh, he might be trying to see like what kind of position he can get. Now it looks like the attention from the rest of Gang, gang FTY is currently distracted here. A Dankirk going down here. This grenade. Could be tragedy uh, if uh, he manages to get in the right room. Not able to, to do so, but he is going to try and push this position. I think he noticed in the kill feed uh, what was going on there. And it looks like he's going to come up here. Surprise, Allen. He takes a few early hits and it, that's going to be it as Mahdi finishes off Gang FTY. So Gang FTY going out in 20th position here as uh, Geekfam claims one of those kills. Uh, one other Knockdown was uh, stolen from them by dogs and they managed to kill um, M0 as well. So that's going to be it. And now looking at how things are, it's going to be quite central here. Actually, not a lot of teams uh, here in the, the region east of school for the time being. So that could be interesting to see whether these teams actually do want to try and make that move in. It looks like Resurgency are going to try and rotate uh, on the West Yasnaya Bridge here as uh, currently they do have uh, the risk spread out here with four different vehicles available to them. Though I think there's still one left here which uh, might offer a bit more concentrated fire as Kasaki is going to try and get through and uh, currently he's not taking any hits. He's using the bank there very well but it looks like DPT going to put some fire onto uh, Aeon now and uh, looks like uh, Research is going to have to 
flick their wounds for a little bit. Migo not going to give him a break. The car is smoking if Aeon is not careful. He's going to get finished off here. He's running to the car, but the car is going to blow up if he's not careful. But looks like Pizza after sex going to be able to catch him out there. And the rest of Resurgence is going to keep moving onwards. Not going to dwell on that loss too much longer. As uh, we still see Stadium Fighter currently having that 2-2 split and uh, still being rather far away from each other. But now Vengeance is on the move here after they have disengaged from the Pachinki side of things. But looks like uh, Resurgence here really caught in the middle of a crossfire. They're going to have the team members from Z God squad number 14 on your screen as uh, well as the other position currently occupied. They do have a 2-2 split going on in this zone. But it uh, looks like Quadro will be going down here and he's all by himself. Kasaki and Brax need to get over there and try and get the res up here. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be very difficult. But this pressure here exerted by uh, Z God here is going to be difficult to fend off. And uh, looks like they just have to try and not peek too much in this kind of situation where they can't really cover the angles. Uh, Z God actually does have quite quite a number of uh, angles and crossfires going on there, which was going to really hinder a lot of the movement going through that zone. But I think most of the teams have rotated in already, so it's not really going to be of a huge issue. As we see here, Arrowwolf, Vince Pro here. Oh, knocking one of the players out here, unfortunately, as they try and control this zone. But Arrowwolf uh, Summit here, going to try and meet up here. Crosby holding down the fort while he waits for Entrov and Exagon to try and push it up. We have Squad 13, which is going to be Team Mista here. Currently, they're all in that Alamo complex, as we saw earlier on in the game. Now, that is going to be a very effective uh, position, as explained earlier on, because this is TPP mode, guys. You do want to try and utilize the vision as much as you can here to try and... Uh, get an advantage on other team members because even uh, if you do see some first person perspectives here it's just because uh they they prefer to play that but let's not forget tpp is technically a competitive mode i think uh, generally um pubg in general might be encouraging less of it i think pgi berlin did see um of course two different competitions there of uh 12 rounds each there where they were actually playing both tpp and fpp but like in the recent tournaments that you see in this region, I think it's going to be very much all FPP centric here. So that's going to be interesting to see how that part is going to pan out. But it looks like Geek Fam here going to try and advance onto this position currently occupied by Airwolf uh, Vince Pro. And they don't have a lot of space currently. They're all trapped here. Uh, currently all inside this hut here. So looking increasingly uh, difficult here. Oh, and a big shout out for Kint. Nakila Bak Bakong, or Bachong, sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but thank you so much for the 200 stars. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Um, but yes, in general, we will be looking to see how the rest of these teams are going to uh, try and posture themselves. At the moment, we don't see too much going on here because these compounds are just being occupied and they don't want to have to rotate through all these positions if they don't have to. I think we've been seeing already the, the kind of tra hazardous... Uh, uh, or the hazardous nature of actually trying to move through all these positions. Now, it looks like Jenks and Muddy here, or Jenks and KY God, going to try and put some fire onto the rest of the team members from Vince. Vince Pro here. Now currently they're escaping but they're attracting so much fire from everyone here. It's just amazing that they're not taking more hits but the vehicle is probably taking quite a pounding. They have to abandon it already. It's smoking and looks like uh, three of them got out but looks like Ray LK here going to be all on, on his own here for the time being. So now looking at this circle it is going to be a uh, wow very interesting to see how it goes. And uh, now with the play zone, it is going to close in one minute. All these teams here on the the western side are going to have to make a move quick. Um, currently, Lapar Genesis here is still in uh, in Rosov. They're going to have to make a move pretty quickly. As uh, now we're also seeing that uh, Ronin here moving around after they were already in uh, Yasnaya. It looks like they're going right back there. And uh, now we will be seeing that Airwolf Summit here also trying to make a move through this zone at the moment. But currently, uh, there's also two members here from Vengeance Malaysia. But currently, they're just trying to stay alive here in this game. As currently, they're stuck in the middle of the field. I don't think that they can easily get away. They do have uh, DPT over here to their west side. So that's going to be difficult. But Resurgence here under a lot of pressure they just haven't been given any rest by z god uh and it looks like quadro gonna go down again kasake gonna get up brax but now quadro is bleeding out quick i don't think that they're gonna be able to rest him out uh but looks like head on point is actually moving closer to this position now the two positions that were occupied previously by z god not in a very could use the spot here but now looking at how things are, are developing here we can actually see that uh the squeeze is uh coming in here looks like Coppin going down here for rrq and uh not looking good he's taking a lot of long-range fire from mista 
and he's still got uh, Snow Templar just to the north of his position, actually, and currently going to make it very difficult for them to actually maneuver around. But looking at how the rest of this um, game is going, we see Stadium Fighter reasonably together here after being uh, apart for so long, and now looking at it, they're going to try and reconnect, and they try and get inside the zone. Currently, they're a bit far away. Geek Fam still surviving here. They do have uh, the three players alive at the moment. Currently, they don't have hard cover. They just have uh, a little bit of terrain, but they have to be careful about this long-range fire coming in from dogs at the moment, as they have already blown up two of their vehicles, so now that any future rotation is going to be increasingly difficult from Geek Fam. They do have a a little bit of natural cover here but if this next circle shifts in very uh dramatic fashion i think it's going to be uh really um bad here so yeah, in any case, we already see that there is going to be uh, more rotations here as uh, we already see the other team members from RRQ taking a lot of shots this time at uh, the rotation coming out from uh, Airwolf. But looks like uh, Vince Pro here are going to get involved here as they try and uh, engage together with Wipeout. Wipeout currently have two players down and uh, looks like the rest of uh, Airwolf uh, Vince Pro here going to be able to do some work here as looks like uh, Vandal going to finish him off and uh, now looks like uh, there's only going to be Stu and So Shoot Me here left up. So now So Shoot Me has managed to get his teammate up here. But it looks like the rest of the squad here is going to push in. As uh, looks as though the smoke is going to hinder a little bit of the progression here. But they're able to stop it quite a bit here. And currently they're hiding behind two of the cars. Currently the, the Dacia might be exploding here. If they're not careful, the nade is coming in here. It's going to be it. Huge explosion coming out from there as uh, So Shoot Me going to be the last person here. He's going to try and get the heal off and uh, they're just inside the zone. So going to be just okay, but I think they're going to try and lick their wounds and this is the kind of circle that Geekman didn't want. Now they don't have any vehicles to try and maneuver, but Dogs here are able to disable those vehicles and really make it difficult in this kind of situation. So now uh, looking at uh, how everyone else is going to move, everyone is going to start rotating hard. Uh, and everyone has vacated Yasnaya. And let's not forget that there were actually uh, four teams there right at the start who all actually had bugged out there for the time being. But now looking at things, it looks like uh, Airwolf uh, Summit here, right in the middle of the circle in the tower. They're going to try and put the hurt onto all these rotations coming in here. And we already see that Mista is on the move here, but they stop right in the middle of the field. But currently they could get sandwiched a little bit by Regium squad number 12 uh, who are currently on the other side from their position and wow it looks as though that this position is getting really advanced on by Ronin. Ronin really pushing in here. Cheesy Kimbap goes down and so does Katao here leaving Crosby and Entrop here to try and hold this position for the time being. Jowie Q here taking some damage and Leander also going down. Jatsu is going to bring up the rear here and Curly Entrop is holding that position and it looks like there's only one player left up here for Ronin and he goes down and looks like Entrop will finish it and uh, that was a very nice counter push from uh, Ronin there as uh, they really had to fend off that attack as best as they could as we see all teams here all trying to make their own rotations here. Oh a little bit of a uh, road kill there as uh, Syndicate going down for Lapar's um, Genesis at the moment. And now we will be seeing that uh, a lot of crossfires going up here as, uh, oh, we see GeekFam rotating all the way around this side and uh, see whether Janks can get the, the kill here. He's so merciful. I can't believe he didn't go for that road kill there. So uh, anyways, uh, whatever, you know, it's like, uh, it's a little bit of mercy for Malaysian brethren there. Uh, so anyways, uh, here on the eastern side, we will see that the rest of uh, Z God here gonna stay alive as uh, currently we also see Udin here moving in for Stadium Fighter for the time being. Icefell is still there for Team Capcorn. And it looks like Brax going to town here, this time onto the team members of Mista as uh, they're trying to advance into this position, but currently they've had to vacate the vehicles at the moment they couldn't do a lot in the situation as uh, now Brax taking a lot of fire from long range despite the smoke screen over there looks like private dumb is down but the rest should be forthcoming here as the rest of uh, uh, resurgence is not going to really be bugging out too much or rather trying to join in further on this fight as uh, they're already down to two two players here after losing Aeon and Quadro earlier in the game. But now it looks like uh, Janks and KNY God are gonna put some work here, but it looks like Valdemort gets the headshot onto Janks and currently that's gonna leave uh, KNY God and uh, Modi uh, currently all by themselves here. Now the smoke is out here. Modi is going in for the rest for the time being. Now Circle is closing and uh, now it is getting increasingly congested and there's like virtually no cover in this field, guys. There's only got a base of hail and uh, 
and even like what Resurgence is doing, which is trying to utilize their vehicles here for a bit of cover. It's uh, coming back to haunt them, and now it looks like Brax gonna have to try and hold off in this position here all by his lonesome, as he's also taking some hits from the south from Snow Templar at the moment. But Snow Templar are going to also uh, take a lot of fire from other regions here. So there's going to be a lot of chip damage going along here, guys, and from that, it's going to start reducing all the armor down to zero. As uh, you can see from this terrain, there's going to be no way for these teams to actually try and and get uh, get new armor or helmets. You know, once it's gone, it's pretty much it. Unless you're in one of these uh, Yasnaya buildings at the moment. Now we're seeing the hurt being put on in the center here. Resurgence went down and just then in that position after they were really caught in a really bad place. And looks like that's going to be it for L Dogs as the uh, squad 19 expires there after they try to move into the, the zone. But old man for Stadium Fighter really far away from home here. So uh, not sure whether or not he's going to be able to connect here. So you can see it looks like a real war zone at the moment here and an absolute carnage for the time being here so uh so yeah gonna be a little bit interesting from that perspective but now it looks like the circle has shifted all the way to yasnaya guys and uh could be a very interesting uh finish here if it, the circle is going to continue hard shifting and we're going to see all these teams going to have to move here and looks like uh, it's going to really play into favor here for regium regium if they can really try and catch out a lot of these teams in rotations they can rack up a lot of kills here so currently they're just trying to hold this position at the moment and what they're doing now they have four people in four different buildings here they're making sure that they can put up enough fire but just not peek too much that they actually get knocked down and uh, someone has to come over revive them it's going to bring down one of their angles of fire but we already see that dogs here uh, starting to move in from the southern side here for the time being and we already see here that uh, they are going to be under a lot of pressure as well. This time uh, also from squad number six, which is Arrowwolf uh, Vince Pro at the moment. But there is going to be lying in wait here. The boys from Z Gods here. And it looks like Nesco Sar here. If he's not careful, he's going to get caught in rotation here as he's getting sprayed down. But uh, looks like Kayo going to drop down first. Nesco Scar here going to be able to get away but now looks like uh jonathan here and uh his teammate here going to try and get out currently taking excessive fire here but they are going to be able to get away for the time being and now looking at how things are going here we will be uh seeing that oh jonathan here falling to ice fell here so kayo and uh um jonathan not having a very good rotation there for uh Snow Templar at the moment as uh, now Dogs here getting into some trouble here. They've engaged together with uh, Z Gods here and Mad Dog is down. Unexpected is the last player here. But uh, he, they have managed to take down Rage Boy already here, leaving only Head On Point and the Foggy Dew here to try and duke it out. But all the remaining utility is coming out, guys, as he tries to survive as best he can. The nades are still coming his way. If he's not careful, he's going to trip on one of them. But for the look, most part, most of the teams here have managed to get in. But looks like Arrow Wolf here putting up some long-range shots onto uh, Team Vengeance at the moment. Vengeance still alive in the middle of the field there for what seems like an eternity here but uh looks like 6-6 is going to go down doobie 2 here is going to try and dodge a little bit of that fire here and uh just try and survive a little bit longer but vandal is still alive here as well for uh airwolf vince pro but airwolf vince pro I didn't see how the rest of their other team members died here, but they look strong in the southern part of the circle. But this kind of rotation here across such an open field is going to wreak havoc on everyone. And, uh, oh, it looks like um, Unexpected just trying to do his best. He managed to take out one more of the players um, from Z God at the moment, but looks like Foggy 2 will be able to finish it. But Icefell uh, getting five kills here for Team Capcorn. I think he did take uh, at least two kills from... Uh, uh, Snow Templar there after they were making that long rotation so he's in a good position to really make it through into the later stages of this game but now looking at how things are going guys the next circle is going to reveal itself and uh, oh it looks as though it still covers a nice chunk of Yasnaya over here so we could be in store for an urban finish but it's going to be so awkward for these teams here in the south part. I don't know what they're going to do because um, they're all going to be forced to fight each other or die here. Because if you take position behind any of these bales of hay there, you're, you're going to get shot from all sides here. So everyone here pretty much has to wipe out each other. And it's going to be a fight between uh, Yasnaya and the fields here. So you could say the high class and the the peasants here who are in the field so uh it, it'll be an interesting uh, alternate timeline here to play out but we are playing battle royale after all so uh, let's just focus on this task at hand now we have the three team members from rrq still alive here in this um southern part here as uh there is going to be geek fam still alive here in a and a concerted force here with three guys alive but now it looks as though that the peasants are going at it here in the field and it looks like a 
huge uh, firefight erupting here as Regium gets wiped out at, from a concerted effort, not just from... Uh, Oh no, sorry, they still have uh, two of their, three of their places. It's actually the, the players from uh, Arrowwolf Vince Pro that went down there. And it looks like the two Vengeance players here trying to just hack it here. But Doobie 2 here under a lot of pressure for the time being as uh, he's just trying to survive here. But it looks like Arrowwolf uh, Summit here going to be parking in the middle of the field. They are using a little bit of that terrain cover as best they can for now. But it is going to be a chore for them to actually do better. But it looks like GeekFam here pushing forward a little bit here as they want to try and get inside the zone ASAP. But looking at how things are, there is going to be a little bit of pressure coming out from the rest of uh, RRQ for the time being and prevent further advancement. But looks as though that uh, Vengeance goes down there as Doobie 2 wasn't able to hang on any longer. And uh, looks like there's a, a few solo squads here. We got the Foggy Dew, Lapar, Malkendrix, uh, and Icefell for each of their teams and uh, also Nescosar here as well as uh, we also see that uh, the two stadium fighter players here are still alive for the time being at the moment and now looking at how the rest of this is faring at the moment there is going to be the the peasants there there's only two teams left there in that category as currently we're still seeing that arrow wolf here just trying to duke it out in the middle of the field currently they just still do have a uh, region to the southeast at the moment and uh, that could pay a little bit of a factor here if uh, they're not too careful but currently they're using those cars expertly here it's just that uh, they need to just be prepared if a couple of nades do come in here which could ruin their whole day but looks like they should be okay for now I think the rest of Regium here just gonna try and get into that southern part of the circle for the time being and just be a little bit safer here for the time and uh, now looking at things so we see that Yasnaya is getting increasingly crowded here as uh, we already see that uh, RRQ just bugging out or staying rather in that tower here on that northwestern edge as the rest here are all condensing into this uh, very busy area and looks like they will still be inside the zone so we're in for our urban finish guys and uh, really looking to see how the peasants are going to start advancing on to uh, say Minas Tirith even you know but yeah I mean this is going to be uh, interesting to see as we now see that the rest of uh, Regium here trying to advance on the position Entrop taking a lot of hits at the moment and it looks like Super Raj uh, going to expire there and a nade falls right in our boy's face there I don't know what he could do and uh, Jan Meister here is going to be the last player alive here he does have a uh, little bit of level 3 gear here but I don't know exactly how much he's got left he's still got all this long range pressure coming out for him um, and uh, looks like the pressure is going to be coming in here as the rest of uh, Arrowwolf Summit going to try and finish him off. But Arthur Crosby taking quite a few hits in that exchange there. And he gets shot through the smoke here. So they're going to move back to their vehicles. They're going to definitely need them if they're going to survive any further into this game. But now looking at the rest of the, the scene, guys, we actually see that there's still going to be uh, all these teams still holding up inside these buildings for the time being. It looks like Airwolf going to take the opportunity to try and get across the field at the moment. They don't have a lot of time to do it. And oh, looks like Foggy Dew caught up by Icefell. He's got six kills already. So he's really doing uh, work here for Team Capcorn at the moment. And now looking at the rest of these players here, uh, we see that GeekFam consolidating into this large building here. Modi going to get a nice drop shot onto Nesco Sar there from the window. So that's going to be it for Snow Templar. And GeekFam continues onwards with the three players that they have. But it looks like Arrowwolf here still going to have uh, two of their players here. I think they lost the other player in transition if if uh, not mistaken here, as everyone is basically in Yasnaya. So now, even though we've had urban uh, circles so far, all this game here, oh, Icefell getting caught out by a stadium fighter at the moment. If the circle goes into the field, all these guys are going to be up shit creep without a paddle. As uh, It's going to be a matter about who blinks first and whatnot, but let's not count our chickens just yet. Let's see how this part is going to develop. We already see that uh, RRQ already have moved over from the tower position and currently using that wall. Don't forget, it is TPP, guys, so it is going to be effectively uh, a very uh, uh, interesting way to try and get your information and... Uh, why, why not use uh, that third person perspective to the max here? So, of course, the third person usually is going to be a lot slower the games here just because of that extra information that everyone happens has. But looks like Otaro here getting knocked down for a stadium fighter and uh, 
Actually, it looks as though that with this circle here, there's not a lot of cover. Geekman probably going to have a decent bit of cover. Airwolf just going to stay in those huts. Currently, Malkendrix is right next to Airwolf there. I hope he doesn't get busted for teaming. But yeah, now jokes aside, um, I think he's just going to try and stay alive as long as he can for uh, Lapar Genesis here. As uh, now we will be trying to see what the rest of these teams are going to do. It's going to really be about who is going to make that move first here. Geekfam has advantage on our RRQ at the moment because RRQ have to, uh, will be closed in by the circle much sooner as Jang's already preemptively moving uh, closer towards that zone at the moment as he can use that wall there to the fullest effect here and really prevent the rest of uh, RRQ from trying to do too much. But there's only 10 seconds left here before actually things are going to start colliding big time, guys. As uh, currently we will be seeing uh, a lot of these other teams here trying to make the move. And so looks like Ace as as well played here goes down here as he blinks first for his team but the rest of his team is on the move the smokes are deployed by airwolf already after they're trying to get the move on here and mal kendrick's making a, a speedier move here as dini comes around the side here for uh stadium fighter and uh, jang's going to try and monitor the situation but looks like alfrazi in a little bit of trouble here he's getting caught out in the blue KNY got it, going to get both of them, I think. Uh, no, sorry, Mahdi got the first one. KNY got the second, but now it's got Airwolf coming up here. And uh, currently, Mahdi is out in the open, but he gets Entro down. Katao going to be the last player up here. He knocks down Mahdi as well, but KNY got going to be the last player here for Geek Fam and Katao as well for Airwolf Summit. But at the moment, KNY got pushes out here, and it uh, looks like Katao able to get that snapshot here. But it looks like Dini here going to try and finish him off. It uh, looks like they're both out in the open, but it looks like Katao using that cover expertly after taking those two uh, well taking kills there but now it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one effectively here between uh, Katao and Malkendrix but Entrop is going to try and creep over here but Malkendrix could actually prevent the rest from going off he's going to get the nade out it could be big here for the chicken dinner oh looks like Katao can't be seen too much or he, rather he takes some damage and looks like more pressure is coming in oh why couldn't the, the HE grenade be like that but looks like Malkendrick's gonna try and position himself as best he can. But it looks like Katao gonna pop out. But Malkendrix is able to do it for Lapar Genesis, guys. As he is able to stay alive as the solo team member right until the very end. So, wow, what a play from him. And uh, really clutch performance from him. Now, it really looked as though he was gonna be against Geekfam versus Arrowwolf in that fight there. Uh, but it looks as though that uh, Katao was able to really do some work there. And uh, But it... But big hats off to uh, Mal Kendricks, able to stay alive there to the very end, pick a good spot and not get involved with um, too many of the too much of the fracas. He moved early and then he was able to seal that final kill onto Katao. And now in second place, we saw Airwolf Summit take second position there after they were conquering the southern side of the later circles for quite some time there. And Katao did get eight kills as well, so he was really carrying that team. Uh, but Unfortunately, he wasn't able to carry them right to the very end in that one-on-one -on -one situation. So they go out in second place. And in third place, we have Stadium Fighter. Stadium Fighter really staying alive to the end as well with Dini there. But he wasn't able to take out Katao in that one-on-one-on-one uh, -on -one -on -one situation. And in fourth place, we have Geek Fam. Uh, so Geek Fam did pretty well. They had three players up for a long time. Savior unfortunately died much earlier on for them. And uh, it did very much look like they were well positioned in those later stages of the circle. They really put the hurt onto uh, RRQ though as uh, they finish in fifth place catching them out there as they had to move first but they were really charged down by Airwolf and they didn't have a lot of cover they had to step out into the open there just because of the way that the circle was going to move and uh, yeah that is it for round number one guys so we will be taking a short break when we return we will be back for round number two and that's going to be on Erangel as well but we now move on to FPP mode for the remaining three matches that we have in store for you tonight so Thank you so much for watching and everything, guys. This is Play of the J, and we will be right back.